Here's our requested herb gardening video. I'm not an expert, but we have two in here. We may have more. Jessica and Teresa. I have some knowledge about herbs so they can help us out and I'll get us started. So on the Daily Dozen, actually herbs is one of the, or spices is one of the uh, Daily Dozen we need to be getting. I've never really used herbs on um, my food before. I just thought it was something like nice to add, you know, didn't really have a purpose. But um, it does have two purposes it, for health supporting. It's anti-inflammatory and it also helps protect us against DNA damage. Who would have thunk? I had never had an idea. I didn't even know that being inflamed had health depleting side effects. So about a, uh, three years ago, I was, I could tell that I was inflamed, swollen, I kept going to the doctor, asking questions, and just put pills, you know, oh, you must have high blood pressure and it must not be working. That's what they thought. Well, then when I got cancer, breast cancer, they were like, oh yeah, inflammation will cause all kinds of bad things. And I'm like, what? Why didn't somebody tell me that? They were just throwing pills at me for blood pressure when it probably wasn't even my blood pressure because it didn't work. <laughs> so, I don't know. So, if we eat health supporting foods, including spices and herbs, it will help us be uh, less inflamed. So, some of the ones that I grow, let me show you if I can. I have a herb garden pot. It has wheels on it. It rolls. I got it at a uh, at Lowe's, like a home and garden store, and it has a little tube here that you uh, fill up with water, so you don't cut. You kind of water it from the bottom up, and. Uh, I am not able to grow anything and check this out. This thing's almost nine months old. It's still going strong. So I have oregano, sage, basil, thyme. I haven't really used the chives, but I do have chives. All these other ones I've used. I have um, spearmint. I like to put in my hibiscus tea, parsley, and tarragon. So, anything you like to eat, I try them out because I'm trying to do less salt. So, I try out the different spices, which really do help, and I see which ones I like. So, and then I make notes in my cookbook if uh, there's some that I want to amend because I like to taste better than the ones maybe that they called for. So, some of the ones that he tells us that we need to eat that maybe you can grow, I don't know how you grow them, <laughs> turmeric and ginger and cloves so he specifically mentions turmeric a fourth a teaspoon a day is on our daily dozen checklist one thing you need to know about turmeric is you need to eat it with black pepper black pepper increases the absorption of the turmeric by two thousand percent so if you're putting a fourth i put it in my smoothie some people can put it in their food and don't taste it i don't like the taste of it so i put it in my smoothie and i put a lot of ginger in my smoothie and i taste the ginger i don't taste the turmeric so but i had turmeric and black pepper i know some people even did a shaker and in here she put a shaker of turmeric and pepper together so she'd always remember to add the pepper so i'm gonna add some videos underneath on herbs and then Jessica you and Teresa teach us about herbs and how to dry your own herbs when the season's over and when they flower do you pull the flower off because it makes them taste different those kinds of things bye